entrance antiphon. Let the virgins praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above heaven and earth. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear sisters and brothers, in our Eucharistic celebration this morning, we remember the life of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. Knowing that our God is full of mercy and compassion, let us call to mind our sins. I confess. To my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. God our Father, who called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America. By her example, teach us to have concern for the stranger, the sick, and in those in need. And by her prayers, help us to see Christ in all the men and women we meet. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. This, which one it is? Father. Yeah, but, uh, okay, yeah, thank you. A reading from the second letter of St. John. I rejoice greatly in to find some of your children walking in the truth just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have heard from the beginning, let us love one another. For this is love that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment as you heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. For many deceivers have gone out into the world. Those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh, such is the deceitful one and anti-Christ. Look on to yourself that you do not lose what we worked for, but may receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as not remain in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. 
Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you, let me not stray from your commandments. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Stand, recede, and arise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building on the day when Lot left Sodom. Fire and brimstone rained from the sky, destroyed them all. So it will be on the day of the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot, whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it. But whoever loses, it will save it. I tell you, on that night, there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal, meal together. One will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the filters will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. St. John, in our first reading, reminds the community whom he established to love one another. Love is the first and the greatest commandment, where, and it, it was commanded by Jesus. And St. John also tells us that we will encounter deceivers, and sifters, and people who exploit others and the earth. We will encounter floods, famines, and fires if we do not embrace God's law of love. We cannot survive as a species. Instead, we all are called to sacrifice ourselves for the good of the community in order that may some may survive, 
perhaps our children and grandchildren. Today, my brothers and sisters, let us surrender our life, our fear, and our <coughs> concern into the hands of Jesus. And may we let go of anything that keeps us separate to love one another and to love God with all our hearts, with all our minds, and with all our souls. Amen. Mindful of our dependence on God, let us humbly place our needs before him. For the church, as it works to build the kingdom of God, here and now, we pray to the Lord. For elected officials, may the Holy Spirit guide them in prudence in their decision-making, let us pray to the Lord. For those who suffer the pain of loss, may Christ's compassion be with them in their grief. And especially we remember those who are sick, for Rosemary Hurst, Paul M. C. Killop, Mercedes Robledo, Julio Castaneda, and particularly those with COVID-19 virus for Fernando Ro Rodriguez and Edu Biges Rodriguez. For them, we pray to the Lord. And, and for recently deceased, we pray for Harianto Lanujaja, Stephen Dharma, Luis Auguere, Stella Hinajosa, Paul Creeley, Miguel Sanchez, and particularly those who have died from COVID-19 virus for Harold Spurgeon. Let us pray to the Lord. And we also remember Prospero Guadarrama Huerta, and especially we remember Henry and Vina, Vina Canales, for 49 years married today, for their anniversary. For them and their kids and family, we pray to the Lord. And today's Mass is being offered to remember and to pray for the repose of the soul of Elias Maunes, Maunanes. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce correctly. For him and his family, we pray to the Lord. Lord. And also remember Father Dennis, who are not feeling well today. For him, we pray to the Lord. Lord. And all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. we pray to the Lord. God of mercy, we come before you seeking your will. We ask that you hear the prayers we offer today through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the commemoration of the Holy Virgin, St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, we bring you these offerings and prayers. Grant, we ask that in her merits are pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints. In the crowning of their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their example of life, you offer us true example. By their communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us. And with win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took the bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. (laughs) 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs and to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And together we say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, <clears throat> thy kingdom come, And forgive us our trespasses as we. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us now offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. <clears throat> On behalf of our brothers and sisters who are watching us now from their home who cannot receive the Holy Communion, let us pray for them the prayer of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Francis Xavier Cabrini, bearing in, your, in our body the death of Jesus, we may, st- may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. And let us salute our Blessed Mary. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Pray for us, a Holy Mother of God.